Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Convoy. I am abysmal. Uh, last episodes, or at least the last two episodes, we had some misfortunate events happening. Uh, this time, we're trying to salvage the run, I guess, as we say. So, let's go ahead. We still have our, our dragon, which is nice, but we did lose Ashley and we lost Garrett. Those are unfortunate events, but we're going to go ahead on this episode to go ahead and look for maybe some... I don't know, more vehicles is really what we're looking for. We don't have much fuel, so we're going to have to take any type of fights we have. We don't have a lot of scrap either, so... We also want to take a look at any points of interest that we might see, because that's going to help us out tremendously if we can actually find a vehicle from one of them. So this is a, a signal is coming from a garage situated here in the desert. A broken down neon side sign reads, Caesar's Chop Shop. Yeah, well, we're going to investigate that. Upon heading inside... You spot a gray-haired man. He's busy disassembling parts left and right while bobbing his head and drumming on whatever. Yeah, I think we had this one before, and he repairs our guys. Um, I don't see any reason to really... I'm just going to leave this way. It's not a big deal because we have full health at the moment, so we don't need it. We're going to probably run out of fuel. Well, here we go. Easy pickings. We'll go ahead and... This is a Torvac. They surrounded us. Let's go ahead and fight them. We need the fuel, so we'll take anything we can get. So, we'll start moving our guys back here. What we really want to keep an eye out is for anyone that has an EMP on top of theirs. If they have an EMP, we want to take them out quick, because we don't have a lot of vehicles, and we don't want to lose vehicle CMPs. So, first off, well, you know what? Actually, we'll let them get in a little bit closer. I want to EMP him. And we'll go ahead and bring our laser in here, and we'll go ahead and start working on our first guy here and there's our lasers doing its work oh we gotta move him out of the way though there we go let's put a mine here just for short order make sure we take care of him pretty fast all right we have no shields on our mcv already so and that was kind of to be expected now, if we can move our laser down this way, well, we didn't get any extra hits on him. Alright, our dragon and our railgun guy are working on this guy. Which should be pretty... They should be able to take care of him pretty quick. And I would like to stun this guy, because he's the only one that has a uh, ability to hit us at the moment. Where everybody else is guarding uh, our MCV at the moment. Alright. And we'll go ahead and throw another mine out here. We're going to work on this guy as much as possible from, from the back. And he does have lasers, and he has some uh, pretty good uh, weaponry. So that's he's taking us out pretty pretty well. But we're doing decent. And let's go ahead and stun him and do, do what we can with him. Now, this guy is going to die. We have mines still coming in, and I don't want to allow them to get into our MCV. So we're going to start moving forward. Nope. I wanted to ram him in there. It would have been nice, but didn't happen. Let's throw another mine here. Get our railgun guy and uh, the dragon on his, uh, this guy here, and he should be down pretty quick, and he is. And we're going to be moving. Well, let's first move him down. I know that's going to hit my MCV, and that's uh, too bad, but it'll be all right. And bring these two guys in within range, and we'll be just fine, I think. So, we did take damage on our MCV, and that was to be expected. Um, but, you know, but we are surviving these battles now, so that is what's important. We got 12 fuel and 42 scrap. Sadly, it appears that you've blown up the cloaking device as well. Well, I don't think we've ever got a cloaking device, but thank you. So, a little bit of fuel helps. We're going to probably have to do another battle, and our other two vehicles are fine on their armor, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I also wanted to finish this hitchhiking quest, and I don't know how far we are. We're still a ways away from it, so let's let's go to these points of interest first, and we'll try these ones. All right, slavers. This happens to be a pretty um, strong uh, a group of guys here, but we're going to attack them anyways, because if we get these slavers, they might join us. I think there is part of the quest that they do. And if I can get this laser, I don't know what would be the best way. No, 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 no. We'll go that way. Do that. Do this. Alright, let's get our dragon working on this guy once we move him over a little bit. Oh, they're, they're gonna... Oh, this might be it. 
Okay, let's... Okay. <laughs> we are not doing well. Our MCV is not happy right now. And they got too many guys right here. You got the laser right here. This is going to be a rough one. Yeah, come on. Take out those guys as quick as possible. Okay, we're going to have to do something about this. Maybe ram them up right here. Alright, that's good. We still got this guy in the front. He's doing a lot of work against us right now. Okay, let's see what we can do though. Maybe we can ram him. Yeah. Okay. This is, looks like the only guy right here that we'll be able to get. But right now, this guy's getting a lot of shots on us. I don't really care for that. He's hitting him. He's hitting him. Let's do this. All right. So we're we're doing the best we can to protect our MCV. He's not doing well though. We're gonna be pausing a lot in this one just to make sure we don't have any unexpecteds. Okay, well let's make sure we take out this guy as quick as possible. Okay, he's out. That means we can start working on this guy. We need to move. And I don't care about the damage. Ah, it's it's rough. It's hard damage, but I don't care too much about it. We might lose another vehicle, and that's gonna be rough. So we don't want to do that. Yeah, come on. Alrighty. Alright, as long as we can get rid of this last guy, I think we're going to be okay. I know I'm not talking as much as I normally do. Now we got to get him out of here. There's nothing nothing I can do to save him right now. Let's see if we can... No, nope, we can't. Yep. Yep, there we did. We rammed him into the wall. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> nice. Okay. There we go. And that took care of that. That was a close one. Wow. Woo, five for nine fuel and 50 scrap. We'll take that. Uh, offer to return them home or offer them to work on your convoy or catch them and find a slave market. I think if we offer to return them home, I know I can offer them to work on the convoy and they give us scrap. But let's go ahead and do that. And maybe we'll get another one. The former slave thanks you profusely. They then they tell you the location of their settlement, assuming it is left uh, standing still. So we'll go ahead. Right now we're in a bad position. We can't. Where's the nearest camp? So we're not even going to start moving yet until we see the nearest, nearest camp. That one back there. We'll make it to the camp, I think. Repair. If hopefully we make it to the camp. Hopefully we don't get in a battle. Nope. Nope. Okay, come on. Come on. You know you can make it. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but we can't do any more battles right now. All right. It's always that last little second they always catch you. So we're going to do any repairing we can do. We're probably going to have to sell that uh, that uh, heavy ar uh, rocket artillery down here. But let's repair up everybody. At least a little bit. Probably not to fool as much as we can. We still need fuel too. Yeah, but I think we're going to have to sell that rocket artillery. I mean, it, it, we don't... Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's we need fuel too. So we'll do one more... Stop and buy a little bit of fuel. At least get us to 40. Okay, so we're in, we're in decent shape. We don't have a lot of items, but we're in decent shape. Hopefully, if after we c complete some of these quests, we'll be actually able to salvage some of this. So we have 139 kilometers for that one. Hitching a ride is 299, so that's a long ways away. Let's finish off the slave request, and maybe we'll get something good for it. Probably getting a fight on the way, but that's okay. Yeah, I've been trying to think of any ways that we can actually salvage this run. Let's see, prepare to fight, and I think we're going to have to fight when we get to the um, village, too. So we'll see about that. Without warning you, you are surrounded by Torvac vehicles. Well, we can't do anything about it, we have to fight. So here we go. Let's move our vehicles in position. Alright, once again, we have to make some decisions here. Um, does anyone have a zapper on them? I don't see... Any type of zappers. I'm going to take out this guy. Now, you know what? Let's take out one of these guys really fast. Okay. And actually, I kind of want to bring our laser up maybe on this guy? Or this guy? Who's going to be the biggest problem? I think this guy's the biggest problem. He has those big lasers on top of his, uh, on top of his vehicle. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. All we got to do is move the laser up a little bit and leech off him. I think that's going to do it for him. Alright. 
Everybody had a target except for that guy lost his target. This guy can now fire on him. Okay, that took care of that. I do, I would like to maybe get get that laser down to work on him, but it didn't work. It didn't work out. That's okay. Yeah, they're really tearing up my armor on my MCV pretty fast. Not really much I can do about it, though. Alright, we're going to go ahead and stun him. Alrighty. And I think he's going to be down pretty fast. This mine should take care of it. Yep. Well, I'm not going to allow my MCV to be hit, so I'm going to actually take that hit for my vehicle. Alrighty. Because he still has a shield, and it's not going to make a big difference. Okay, now we... Now it won't stun him. It's just going to get rid of his shield, but... Maybe he won't move... I don't know. He did. He did move. It's okay. All right. Throw mine out here. That'll help with tearing, taking them down pretty quick. And not too bad. Not too bad. I think we could probably do one more battle and still be okay. Yeah, he's dead too, so not a big deal. All right. Good job, guys. All right, we got 15 fuel and 35 scrap from that, and a light pulse laser. So we actually got some good loot from that one. Hopefully, this uh, little side quest of the slave savior. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be too much for us to deal with. Alright. I'm hoping they just uh, it's not a huge uh, fight, but we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be a huge fight. The settlement is swarming with attackers. Uh, they move in to attack you. Alright. Let's see how good we are. Hopefully we don't die from this, but we'll see. Alright. We got a rail gun here. We got some yeah, we got some baddies coming up on us. Okay. Now if I can get my laser in, I think I can actually. It, I'm going to just go right for this guy. We'll stun him too. We'll, we'll do the works on him. That's what I was hoping for. I was really hoping that we'd get our, uh, a chance to get a double on that. They should take care of him pretty good. Oh, never mind. There we go. That laser is doing pretty good. Ouch. Man, I am getting hurt. Okay. And it's really, I don't have anything protecting my NCV over on this side. It's okay, though. There we go, and that should take care of that guy. I'm going to move out of the way. There we go. We're going to stun this guy. We're going to put a mine out here. I don't know what... They might do some movements back and forth, but not like I... Well, actually, you know what? Let's put the mine here and hope... Yeah, there we go. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more damage, but that was good enough, I think. Uh, well, I'm not going to be able to hit him. So we're going to come up here and try to hit him from this side. Yeah. All right. That took care of that guy. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to leech from him. We're going to stun this guy. Gonna make sure everybody's on this guy. And we're gonna throw a little mine down right here, get a little damage, make him move. There we go. Oh, he's leeching. This guy's leeching, so that's not good. But we're doing the best we can. I would be lo I'd love to wish I could get him through there, but he's dead. All right. All right, and that should be enough. To and this guy should be down pretty quick. Come on, come on. Well, he went out of my range there a little bit, but we'll go ahead and leech a little bit. He's dead. All right, good job. So let's see. We got another 11 fuel and 34 scrap. We got a heavy plasma blaster, but that's awesome. Time to check out the settlement, see how, how we did there. The settlement is damaged, but still habitable. The former slaves, thank you for profusely, uh, they start looking for a suitable reward in, what, in what's left of their homes. Uh, wait for them. Surprise, I'll kill you now. Gratitude. It, uh, well, I don't know. It, it's our own reward. No, I'll just wait for them. Uh, the former slaves, they bring out 53 scrap. Well, I guess it's better than nothing, you know. We need it to anything right now. Uh, nearest camp is 127 that way. We'll start heading that way. We're not in the best of wares right now. Yeah. Uh, 
Let us not tarry for long. Uh, there is a foul stench in the, in the, on the wind. Hmm. Let us not tarry for long. No. No, we want to keep moving. We're going to make our way to this camp, hopefully. And I think these are some new camps. I really haven't explored too much down here too much. We could just make it to this camp without <laughs> without having any problems. There it is. We'll probably get hit at the last second. Uh, check the wrecks. Let's see. You pass many rocky cliffs. Um, I've had this one, and there's a littering on the side. A lot of times it is a battle, so no, we'll just keep moving. Let's camp. Check this out. Please, please be some uh, vehicles. Oh, I'll take anyone. I don't care. You're welcome aboard. <laughs> and we can put a pretty good weapon on him. Uh, there's a heavy plasma blaster, which, eh, you know, or a light pulse laser. Well, I don't know. Neither one of those really, really are sparking my interest. But we do got another guy. Well, we might put it on him. Well, we got a light pulse laser or heavy pl I'll put the heavy plasma blaster on. It's just going to do damage to the shields for the most part. Um, to keep him alive longer, we'll give him a little health and a little, little of that. What do you think? Let's see. We got enough? Yeah. Yep. Let's go ahead and do that. His handling is going to be fine and everything else should be fine. We're going to repair up our MCV. Now we have three vehicles. That's really good. We're going to sell some of this, these things. I don't need that. And we don't need that. And let's see. We can get dragon up just a tad. That should be fine. Get a little more fuel. And there we go. We're starting to scrap this run. We're starting to make this run actually work. Um, the next thing we want to do is this hitching a ride. How far is he? 124 away. We'll, we'll make it over to him, I think. And and if if we are lucky, we get another vehicle and our run is saved. And we can say, thank God. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Uh, you spot a, a wreck uh, partly covered by sand. Let's go ahead and investigate that. Ooh, awesome. Super heavy laser. That. It's great. That's going to be another uh, MCV. Uh, and I'm going to put it on. Either I'll sell it or put it on. We'll see. I don't have a lot of fuel, so <laughs> this might be coming down pretty short to if we do get fuel or not. But we're making our way down to this guy. There it is. He better... I hope he gives us some fuel. He probably won't, though. Um, man, the desert sun burns away with no respite. The temperature gauges of your engines are rapidly rising. We have to keep driving. Roll on. Yeah, well, luckily it didn't destroy one of them. Man. Alright, we got here. You revive, arrive at the hitchhiker's indicated location. Off he goes then. Um, the hitchhiker hops off the convoy. Thanks a lot. Uh, laugh out loud. I'm glad there are some other open-minded individuals in these wastelands. He starts walking away. Um, let's do the best of luck and maybe he'll join us. Ah, kind-hearted after all. I knew I made the right choice to hitch a ride with you. You deserve a reward. I have my own vehicle parked near. Wait for me and I'll join your quest. Oh, talk about savior, savior. <laughs> so we got the vehicles, but we just don't have any fuel. Hopefully we get in a fight, actually. Uh, nearest one is 103 that way. Ship is actually 145. So we're going to start heading. Uh, we won't make it to a camp, but... We might be able to uh, get in a fight before we run out of fuel. And it doesn't look that way. We're out of fuel. Okay. All right. You broadcast your emergency signal for some time when suddenly you spot a dust cloud approaching in the distance. Um, open radio channels. Uh, yar! Stranded fuel is ripe for the picking. What do you want? Uh, begging for mercy shan't be working. <laughs> Let's see. Ready weapons. Threaten them. Offer a trade or beg for mercy. No, no, we're gonna ready weapons. Yeah, ready weapons. We want to attack. We want. We need the. We need the fuel. They always do this for you. Give you a little bit of chance to get your fuel. Oh, look at our new guy. He's like Rainbow Bright over here. <laughs> what is his name? Woodstock. <laughs> That's appropriate. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and move our little guy over here. That should take care of that guy pretty easily. Woodstock. <laughs> What a funny name. But yeah, we got him though. That's awesome. Alright, now we're going to bring our laser back here. Oh, hey, we want to bring him down. Yeah. Whoa, making some weird noises on that one. 
It's probably because I paused it right at the at a point where I'm gonna take out him. He's taking out him. He's taking out him. I don't want him to get hit, but I, I just don't see him getting out of the way right now. Yeah, I didn't see him getting out of the way. Uh, oh, come on. Give me my... He's stunned right now. Where, where's the, the EMP guy? Does he have an EMP on top of him? I think that is an EMP. Uh, I'm not for sure. Oh, well, we got to get rid of the EMP. So this guy's ta attacking him. This guy's attacking him. This guy is attacking him. This guy is attacking this guy in the front. Yeah. Okay. We all have targets. <laughs> I really would like to get rid of that guy as quick as possible. But yeah. We'll, we'll do our best. Or maybe... Oh, there's the EMP. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. That's going to get us maybe a double here. And that's all we can expect from that. Okay. Good job. Um, and Mr. This guy right here, this other big guy, I'd like to stun him. Yes. And the extra uh, guy came out here, so this looks good. Now we have four vehicles again. Uh, pretty quick in one episode, got two vehicles. I'm happy about that. I'm just thinking about ramming him with, with uh, Peace Love guy, Woodstock here. Alright. Alright, we're doing good. Let's throw a mine right here. There we go. All right, we got another bomb incoming. There's a, also a um, wall coming up right here, so we want to make sure we avoid that. All right. We need to move everybody in range here, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. There's one down. Let's go ahead and stun him. We'll bring all of our guys up. We need to bring them up. He'll probably be dead before all of the rest of our people even get there. Yeah, after this mine needs toast. Alrighty, good job. Oop, let's move him over. Alright, I think we salvaged the run. So this has been salvage uh, episode, and we have. Uh, we'll take the loot. So let's see, using the last remaining of your fuel, you managed to defeat the privateers. Since you're so focused on extracting fuel, you don't have any time to look for scrap. You managed to reco recover 12 fuel. Hopefully this should uh, prove enough to return to civilized lands. Yeah, I think it actually will. I think we're going to be okay. Um, 12. It's not. It, it, it really isn't. But maybe we'll get in another fight. And that's that's good too. Ah, it's going to be very close if we make it. No, I don't think we will. It's going to be right down to zero. We're going to be right... No! Oh, we made it! No, we made it. We're going to camp, bud. Alright. Woo! Okay, we're going to have to sell this, unfortunately. And I do want this, but we, we need the fuel. So we'll go ahead and sell that. Ah, I really would have liked to put another one of those on my uh, MCV. But oh well. We, we, we did what we had to do. We salvaged the run, too. So let's take a look at our new guy. What does he have on him? He has some light artillery rockets. He does have two slots there, and then he also gets a a defensive slot, so two offensive and one defensive slots, which is great. He actually has a lot of health, uh, pretty good uh, defenses already. He has, uh, these, this guy does, he has a medium rocket and then a light rocket, so we would like to upgrade him eventually here pretty soon. We will be upgrading him to some better weapons. So that's good. Uh, we got our little guy here who has this heavy plasma blaster, which is great on armor. It doesn't really do anything to health, but I think that's good. All right, so this episode we did achieve by getting achieve, we did achieve our uh, goal of getting two more vehicles, which is great. Um, and now we can start focusing again on those final quests. And I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please hit the like button. Button, man, I am I am so tongue tied today. <laughs> Please hit the like button if you did enjoy them. And have a great day. Take it easy.